Am I the asshole? On a whim, my husband and I renewed our vows in Las Vegas, elopement style. Mm. Divorcing sister is furious, says we're, quote, inconsiderate. Okay. First sentence. I'm not adding anything God to bless. this. Yeah. I'll try to keep this short. Parentheses, like my sister's marriage. Closed eye uh, monkey emoji. Oh, really? Yeah. So she's like, oh. I'm- See no evil, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Background, my sister, 39 female, has been married for almost two years and is in the process of getting an international contentious divorce. It was a shotgun wedding and both families advised them against it to no avail. We all saw this coming. Okay. Anyway, last week was my daughter's spring break and on a whim, we decided to take a last minute trip to Vegas. I, 42 female, have been jokingly pushing a vow renewal on my husband of 22 years for a long time. Oh, it's just a vow renewal? Just a vow renewal, yeah. Oh, okay. We laugh about it and move on, usually. But right before we left, it popped in my mind that doing a vow renewal elopement style would be fun in the spirit of the last-minute nature of our trip. Yeah. I grabbed a white shirt, a light a light-up plastic ring, a janky bouquet of faux roses, and a dress-up tiara for our daughter, the flower girl. Oh, that's cute. I found the absolute cheapest, cheesiest vow renewal package, $69, lol, And we went ahead and said, I still do, after a three-minute ceremony. That's cute, man. It was just something fun for us, and we didn't tell anyone ahead of time or make an announcement of any kind afterwards because it was just fun. It was our eight-year-old who went around announcing to everyone, (laughs) including people on the sidewalk, grocery store, at school, that her parents finally got married. She didn't really realize or care about the difference between a wedding and a vow renewal, so we got some side eye from people we'd know thinking that we'd been lying all this time about being married. Uh, Fun times. Yeah. My daughter told her cousins and my sister that we got married on our trip. My sister was the maid of honor in our real wedding, so obviously she got that it was a vow renewal. She didn't say anything in front of the kids, but gave me a, uh, gave me a super fake smile and laugh when she heard. When we had a moment with the kids out of earshot, she let me have it. She told me it was completely hurtful and inconsiderate for my husband and I to do a vow renewal while she was in the middle of a divorce. What? Mind you, her divorce has been in the works for six months with no end in sight. She told me our vow renewal was, quote, rubbing our marriage in her face. What the fuck? And said we should either have not done the vow renewal or kept it a secret. She hasn't spoken to me since, and this was almost a week ago. I, okay, everything's about you, honey, sure. (laughs) Yeah. My mom is a people pleaser and refuses to take a side on this one. Oh, my God. My friends think my sister is nuts to be mad about it. Yes. But maybe they're biased because they're my friends. I get it. And my husband stopped caring about what she thinks slash says (laughs) years ago. We are not close with my dad at all. So me, my sister, and my mom are all the close, quote, nuclear family we have. Okay. I don't want this to become an issue because it was mostly just silly joke, a silly joke decided on last minute. I'm thinking about apologizing to my sister for making her feel bad and just trying to move on, but part of me is refusing to do that because I think she's being ridiculous. So, kind friends, please tell me, am I the asshole? TLDR, my sister says my Las Vegas elopement style vow renewal was inconsiderate because she is going through a divorce. What? Yeah, that was was my first response was, what? Like, that's crazy. People get divorces all the time. Do you have to guess what franchise this is from? It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. This is not a real one. Okay. This is uh, this is just a fun one. Am I the asshole for missing my child's birth to look at a gnome? We'll get a gnome. <laughs> Nomeo and Juliet. <laughs> is that where he, is that what this is from? Wouldn't that also imply that they're a gnome though? I so, assume yeah, I they're looking, not a gnome. Oh, is this from The Sims? We'll see if it's The Sims or not. It's probably The Sims. I, young adult male. <laughs> It's the Sims. I'm a guitar player who likes to go busking for tips. Okay. While out one night, I met this cute girl who was a really generous tipper. Ooh, okay. We start chatting and really hit it off. Then we start dating, and eventually she brings up the possibility of trying for a baby. Oh. I was thrilled. I literally jumped for joy when she showed me her positive pregnancy test. We're both super excited. She's constantly telling everyone we know about the baby. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay. All right. So what happened in the game 
was you learned the guitar skill and then you, someone gave you a bunch of money and then she wanted to fuck you and have your baby and then or you, you probably her romanced her because you romanced thought she her, had yeah. a lot of money yeah and then uh, fucking whenever she talked to other people she got the the start of the baby bump and then the little icon above her head when she's talking to people just have the baby, baby png yeah yeah it says baby in uh in times new roman 12 baby. point yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then the day finally comes. We're hanging out in the living room, and she says, The baby's coming, and runs to the bedroom. I was about to follow her in, but I was suddenly overwhelmed with a new desire. My mind was clouded with only one thought Gnome. <laughs> Is that from the. um? Because in the Seasons DLC, there's one day that's just like Gnome Day or something, and a bunch of gnomes just show up at your fucking house. <laughs> We have this cheap plastic garden gnome in our backyard. For some reason, it felt like the fate of the whole universe was dependent on if I was going to look at this gnome or not. I knew what I had to do. I ran right outside. I stood right in front of that gnome and stared it square in the eyes. I was concentrating on the gnome for what felt like an eternity until I saw my girlfriend come out of the house holding a newborn baby. <laughs> she was furious with me for not being there for the birth of my own child. I tried to explain, but she just didn't understand it. Now she's making all these sad Simstagram posts about how she wishes she had a reasonable father for her baby. Oh, it's from Second Life. Sorry, I just I realized see. Second Life is worth this. <laughs> yeah. I also noticed she's been searching for weird things online. There was a lot of stuff like psychiatric clinics near me. What the fuck? So wait, you're gnome, just guiding shit. Gnome-related delusions and how to cope with insane boyfriend. Should I confront her about all this? How can I mend the relationship? Gnomes? Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for rejecting the worst name ever for our offspring? This one, you told me this one, and I thought, oh, they sound like aliens wrote this post. <laughs> my offspring. I don't know what that was. So, my husband, 38 male, and I, 36 female, are expecting our first child, a bouncing baby girl, due in a few months. Okay. We were both over the moon when we found out the gender, but now things have gotten complicated to say the least there are ellipses in there so I'm, I'm i'm reading it as written alien ellipses see when we first started talking about names the boy name was immediately decided stewart jr after my husband no problem there it's a classic name and carries family meaning but for a girl things got murky my my husband suggested stewarta no, you're not having a stroke. Apparently, his logic is that since Stuart ends in T, we can just add an A to make it feminine. It sounds like your this ADHD is, medication. This is uh, a <laughs> this, this is an attack on me, a man with the ending letter of A. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really work. Yeah. Uh, I ex I tried explaining why that doesn't quite work, how it sounds more like a furniture brand than a human name, yeah. how she'd be endlessly correcting people and explaining its origins. Yeah. He's adamant, though, says it, quote, honors him while giving our daughter a unique name. I've suggested alternatives. Feminine names that may maybe sh sound share a similar sound or meaning to Stuart, names he's mentioned liking in the past, even just going back to the drawing board entirely. Yeah. But he's fixated on Stuarta. <laughs> Why does it have to be him? Why can't it be like his mom or his grandma or... Yeah. I like, mean, I don't know his relationship with those people. So maybe it's not yeah, good. Yeah, but like, is, there a, or is like, there a female figure in his life? Yeah. What that... about her? Yeah, it could be her name. What yeah. about the mom? Why can't it be, uh, yeah, like uh, Alyssa Jr., you know? Yeah, like, Jesus. Yeah. Why, are Why there... does that happen? I don't know. That should happen. Yeah. No, nah, because we need... Only men can carry on their names. Yeah, I guess that's too too liberal. Snowflake. Yeah. <laughs> Woke. <laughs> too, yeah. Uh, now, I love my husband dearly, and I understand wanting to honor family, but I can't imagine subjecting our daughter to a lifetime of awkward stares and endless questions about her, quote, unusual name. Mm. I always worry about potential bullying and the impact it could have on her self-esteem. So, Reddit, am I the jerk for refusing to budge on Stuart to... Is there any compromise I haven't considered? Help us soon to be mama out. TLDR, husband wants to name our daughter after himself in a really, really bad way. I think it's terrible and will set her up for a lifetime of awkwardness. Am I the asshole? Looking forward to your thoughts and hopefully some sanity checks. Edit. Oh my god. Because uh, <laughs> Reddit went crazy, apparently. Yeah. Please, no suggestions for other TA names. 
The man clearly has a theme, and I need to gently steer him away from it, not fuel the fire. So, uh, not hmm. Reddit suggesting names that also end in T-A. All right, Reddit. My husband got arrested at the altar and is now locked up in a Mexican prison. Story time. So at the start of the month, I thought I was marrying my best friend, Steve. We had decided that we wanted a destination wedding and we were really, really in love with Mexico. We booked our dream venue and invited our nearest and dearest. I had my best friend Amy as my maid of honour. We'd literally been best friends since like year one. Always dreamed of the day we'd get married. Steve had Amy's boyfriend as his best man. So the ceremony is incredible. Everything is literal perfection. Until the line, anyone have any reason why these two should not marry? At which point, Amy chirps up, starts sobbing. She says, I do. I'm like, bitch, that is my line. I say I do. This is when she discloses that she has been having an affair with my husband for three years. I was a mess. I was looking at Steve, then looking at Amy, looking at Steve, then looking at Amy. Then Steve's best man, Dave, who is obviously Amy's boyfriend, is like, the fuck? He is then looking at Steve, then looking at Amy, then looking at me. Steve is like, why are you doing this? Don't do this. He's like, why couldn't you just keep it a secret? Why now? Amy's sobbing like, I couldn't let you go through with it. I love you, Steve. Your fucking boyfriend stood right there. <laughs> the crowd were like this. Literally no one had any clue what to do. And then the fight happened. Dave, the best man, literally smacks Steve over the head. Steve's on the floor. He then proceeds to push the floral archway that we're getting married under straight on top of him. Me and Amy are just screaming. Steve gets up from underneath the archway. And I've never seen anyone change quicker. Steve was about to choose violence. He walked up to his dad who was sat in the front row and very calmly asked if he could have his chair. I don't know why his dad stood up. Steve picks up the chair and throws it at Dave. Like Dave has done anything wrong here anyway at this point the officiant has run off we didn't know where she'd been later to find out that she'd called the police see i don't know how these police got here so quick because they were still fighting by the time they rocked up this moment in time steve was on top of dave he couldn't see dave doing anything and steve gets arrested in mexico at our wedding after i found out he'd been having an affair with my best friend did anybody have that on their bingo card for this year? So Steve gets arrested. Amy goes chasing after them. Hon, you can have him. Of course, we paid for this incredible venue, an incredible, like, party. And it felt like a waste not to go ahead with it. So me and Dave just got absolutely hammered. The DJ didn't speak a word of English and thought that me and Dave were getting married. Just thought, fuck it, let's play into it. We had our first dance. Some of the guests thought it was the strangest thing ever. So the next morning, I woke up and I was in Dave's bed. I've never had a hangover like it. And apparently me and Dave have a lot in common. So now I'm a newly single woman. I don't really know what to do with my life. One of the girls I work with thinks I should give Dave a try. But what do you think I should do? Am I wrong for being rude to my boyfriend after he withheld salt for me? Me, female 27, and my boyfriend, male 30, are currently on vacation with his family. I have volunteered to cook most nights because I love to cook and am the best in the group at it. So this evening, I was making a dish for everyone and asked my boyfriend to please get me an array of seasonings for this specific dish. MSG, soy sauce, pepper, and salt. He then said, if you're using MSG, do you really need salt? To which I explained that MSG is not salty. It has one third of sodium content to regular salt and that dishes, if they are using MSG, will typically require salt. I was cooking outside on a griddle and the dish comes together quickly so I wasn't able to go grab any seasonings. I realized shortly afterward that he had not included the salt, just three of the things I requested. And when I questioned it, he said I didn't need it. But the food was bland. Am I wrong for being rude to my boyfriend after he withheld salt for me? It was so bland, so then he proceeded to put on additional soy sauce, which it did not need. It needed salt. Either way, I was defeated and needed to take it off, so I served it as is without salt. Everyone upon being served said it needed salt and proceeded to salt their own dishes. My boyfriend stood by his decision and doubled down on his argument that you can't remove salt, but you can add it. And that he preferred how it tasted as is. I was fuming because he has done this in the past and says I occasionally over season or over salt food which happens on occasion but very rarely and i do 90 percent of the cooking at home and he loves my food we argued and he stood his ground that he prefers his food less salty and that if i salted it he would have been sol and not able to eat any however i know that's not true and he would have happily eaten it 
I said it felt controlling and he said I could have grabbed more salt myself.